can't even come up with words to describe how beautiful this is. So it's lucky that this is a video and not a radio broadcast. So many beautiful rocks. That's a nice thing to find on my way out. Hi everybody, it's Kate from Katie Did. Guess what? It's time for another cutting video. I know you love them, so let's get started. I've got some awesome rocks to show you today. Uh, one of them is an eight pound agate from a fellow named Travis Patterson, who you might know as 406 Findings. We're gonna start with that one. Let's take a look. This gigantic beauty is a find from Travis Patterson, who has 406 findings on YouTube. He finds a lot of really big agates. If you haven't seen him, go check him out. Let's see what's inside. One thing about rocks is that they don't really seem that impressive, right? I mean, even now, after they're cut, they're just this pile of dark. And so it's really hard to see what the big fuss is about. So let's see if we can figure it out. This one was the eight pound agate. And this again is from Travis Patterson of 406 Findings. And uh, this one was kind of a surprise because it was actually, this is, you know, a real nice kind of bluish quartz material on the very outside. But then look at this. This is a quartz crystal pocket. I almost want to say it's mostly a quartz crystal. <laughs> And then the agate just kind of decided to tag along. Let's see what we can see here. Oh, look at the beautiful patterns in that thing. Isn't that neat? I like the way that the agate is kind of in little eye, eye dots all the way up there too. Look at how pretty that is. Here's the next piece. These would make some beautiful kind of window hangers. Look at the quartz crystal patterns in that. That is just amazing. So pretty. An eight pound agate is a pretty big agate, but Travis seems to find really big ones, kind of a lot. We call him the agate whisperer. Here's another one. It's got some nice inclusions on the end there. And again, this beautiful quartz pocket. I really like that. I like the, how you can see where the crystals kind of grow from the center and they just sort of explode into this, this beautiful, beautiful pattern. That is really cool. Now that we've had a chance to take a look at that fabulous thing, let's take a look at another agate. This one is smaller. It was five pounds instead of eight, but it has a lot of beautiful stuff in it. This next one was a five pound agate. And I had, it It was a little tricky because it had a really clear kind of center inclusion. It had a center and it had some banding around the outside of it, but it didn't fit in the saw that way. So I cut it differently to see how it would work. And this is what we ended up with. See this one broke around along the edge there. Look at that banding. Isn't that beautiful? So I cut quite a few of these with the long dark banding in the, in the middle. And I realized that I was probably missing some of the pattern because of the way it was cut. So after I got a couple more of these slabbed, I decided to change directions, and we'll see that in just a moment. Ooh, look at, they look like little birds flying all over the place. I really like this one because it's just kind of, it's kind of different, right? I mean, it's got all kinds of different things going on in it. Looks like sort of a, 
very, very dark sunrise. All right. Now we're going to see what happens when I turn the agate and cut it in a different way. See, this is the uh, this is the pattern that was on the end, and if I had been able to cut this way, then all of them would have looked kind of like this. Kind of like an agate smile, huh? Pretty. Oh, look at those inclusions. Wow, that is just gorgeous. One more. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Aren't those nice? I had this idea when I first started making this that I was going to put all the rocks back together so you could see what they were supposed to look like and then take them off one piece at a time. And it turns out that that's not really a doable thing because, um, because you lose so much of the rock when you're, when you're cutting. It's called kerf and it's the width of your saw blade. And so it actually ends up being tough to put them back together, especially because they all have little saw nubs on them too, from where the from where the saw stopped cutting, like right right there. So they don't fit very well together. So my brilliant idea is not working. So here we go in the sink. Wow, isn't that neat? That's because of the hole, I think, but I really like that pattern. This is just the remnant of the hole, the very edge of it. You can see that the inclusions are starting to get a little bit more regular here. the things I love about Montana agates is that every single one of them is different and they have so many different minerals that contribute to their colors that you just never know what you're going to find inside. Here's the middle piece so again it's pretty thick. As you can see it's almost it's probably more than half an inch thick and you can still see my finger on the other side of it so you can see how translucent this is. This sagget kind of has a blue tinge as well. <laughs> it looks like somebody is scattering trees little tiny trees and then they're getting carried on the wind and then they come into a forest that's how they're made and here you can see that the forest is starting to take hold okay you're weird oh all right anyway just some pretty pretty agate there i'm pretty pleased with that one last but not least i cut this piece of agatized wood that was fractured and then cemented together with agate that my husband found over by K the Kinsey Bridge. And it is by far one of the most beautiful pieces of petrified wood I have ever seen. So no, I'm not jealous. Yes, I am. But at least I get to share. Let's take a look. This one, again, doesn't look all that interesting. 
until you turn it over and get it wet. And take a look at the agate filling in that stone. This is just like, when he found this, I just about passed out because it was so gorgeous. You can see here the growth rings have been cracked, fractured, and then filled with this beautiful agate. There's some green in there. Oh, so gorgeous. And every single one of these slabs is just slightly different and equally beautiful. This one is slightly thicker because, oh, look at that. That's just like a, a riot of color, isn't it? This one is slightly thicker because it was um, the, middle, the middle slab. And so it was being used to hold the rock on to the saw. And uh, so it didn't get to get cut itself. Anyway, look at this. Oh, I'm just like, I can't even come up with words to describe how beautiful this is. So it's lucky that this is a video and not a radio broadcast. I think what intrigues me about this piece is the depth of the color. I mean, it's just, because it's chalcedony, you can see into it. Let me see, I'm moving my finger there. You can see that there are different minerals on the edges and you can still see the structure of the tree. I just think this is just an amazing, amazing piece. See what I mean about every single piece being slightly different and equally beautiful? It's just, it has so much going on. Just crazy stuff. Wow. That's really neat. The problem, of course, with something like this is that it's so beautiful as a whole that it's hard to think about cutting it or cabbing it, making it into something smaller. And yet, you know, what do you do with a bunch of slabs? I suppose you could polish it all together. Let's see if we can get a better, nope, not even. Oh, look at that, look at the glow. All right, last one. Wow, that doesn't even look real. It's just so, so amazingly detailed. All right, I'm sold. This is just a gorgeous one. And my hubby found it. Wasn't that fun? I always love seeing what's inside those rocks. It's just, it's just an endless miracle. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you want to share in the treasures, check out my Etsy store, Katie Did Rocks. Don't forget to subscribe. Likes, comments, and shares all help the channel grow. And if you like my new shirts, check out the links below. I was looking at my videos and I started thinking, my t-shirts are looking a little bit ratty. So I went ahead and invested in some brand new rock hunting t-shirts. I found some really fun ones. You can keep an eye out for them on my upcoming videos. Thanks very much for joining me for this fun look inside the rocks. Keep on doing.